What is up guys, LU Haunt here, and today Home Depot has officially revealed their Halloween animatronic 2024 lineup, so let's get into it. Holy cow guys, Home Depot has literally just dropped pretty much everything to my knowledge and there is a lot to look at. And man am I hyped because from what I've seen so far, it looks awesome. So let's get into this first animatronic. Now first up, we have the 8.5 foot Knight de la Han, I think. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. Anyways, this guy is honestly pretty cool. His overall look is uh, like a headless horseman. The mouth movement is definitely a nice touch because I think we did get a Headless Horseman from Home Depot a while back. Um, and I think this one is overall a little bit better. The lights are nice. The horse head moves up and down, which is also a nice touch. And the overall size is not bad. So for what you're getting, it's, it's pretty good. Um, overall, I think he's a decent prop. He does look a little childish, not very scary at all times, but um, I mean, sure, the clothing is nice and I think everything's pretty good about this guy, so he's definitely a pretty mid-prop. Next up, we definitely have one of my favorites of this year's lineup. We have the 12-foot Hovering Reaper. Now this guy is, I don't even know what to say, he's awesome, his overall look is so good i love the smoldering effect his face has it just looks like he's like burning i guess the light changing of colors is kind of strange but his movement is pretty nice the head movement is really cool i think the mouth movement is nice too and that scythe dude that thing is absolutely massive probably one of the biggest scythes i've ever seen like ever <laughs> anywhere too um he is awesome dude um 300 from what i remember for this thing is so worth it um definitely a possibility of me purchasing this thing because it is awesome next up we have the trickster trio stack now these three clowns all come together which is pretty awesome now priced around 200 dollars, you could stack them or keep them spread it out which is honestly like really neat now the quality doesn't look the best but for 200 dollars you're getting three animatronics basically which you could stack or keep them uh spread it apart on the ground so to give my honest opinion i really do like this animatronic or animatronics should i say um it's a really cool concept and it was executed pretty decently so i'll give you that next up we have the three and a half foot chucky animatronic from home depot now this guy is really neat actually um his animations are fantastic the head movement is awesome the eyes movement are awesome the eye blinking movement is awesome everything is honestly pretty cool for this guy although i was never really into the movie chucky i have watched uh the original and a different one i think but that's not the point but yeah he looks pretty movie accurate um the detailing is really nice and everything looks yeah, accurate. A uh, great animatronic from Home Depot. Although he's not my favorite, it was definitely well made. Next up, we have the 9-foot Murderous Maple. And this guy is overall really cool. Now, when we first saw him a couple months ago, I had some mixed opinions on him. But now that we have a full video talking about this thing, um, it is really cool. Now, although he's a static, um, his detail is fantastic. He just looks like an awesome spooky tree. And, um, I mean, there's nothing really much to say. The lights are pretty cool. And, yeah, honestly, I really like this one. And I want to see this in person. Okay, so now we have the 7-foot Spellcasting Witch. Now, this one is definitely not one of the best props for Home Depot. But, obviously, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be another budget-type prop. And it's not really bad, but it's nowhere near good as well. The face is nowhere near realistic. It just doesn't look real or yeah it just doesn't look real now the animation is pretty cool 
Um, I think the hand moves from what I can tell and uh, the mouth moves. And here we have the eight and a half foot Carnival Carl. Now, I really like this guy actually. Um, I wasn't really a fan of him from the leak images we got yesterday, but honestly, he looks way better uh, now that we actually got a video of him and he is pretty big. Now, obviously that hat is gonna add like one foot and a half. So realistically, his actual height is like seven and a half feet tall. Although he is now a little bit shortened with that hat. Uh, he looks awesome, dude. His face is kind of strange, and his phrases are definitely a little bit goofy and childish. Um, his movement is pretty good. The ha uh, the hammer movement is really nice too. Um, overall, I think he's really nice. Uh, for 200 bucks, I might honestly pick this guy up. Now we have the seven foot Victorian vampire, and honestly, he's pretty cool. Um, he is a reskin of the Boogeyman, which is fine i guess i really do not uh think much of it although he is uh pretty cool with awesome face details and stuff like that because like yeah his face looks pretty cool otherwise um for me i really would care less about this prop because vampires are not really gonna fit in my type of theme but he is a pretty cool vampire prop and yeah and here we have the seven foot animated plague doctor now this thing is honestly really cool from the leaks we have gotten like months before this video um we honestly expected much and we kind of got that now the animation is really nice too um the only complaint i have for this thing is those led lights like the eyes are i'm fine with but like everything else like all those led wires and stuff like that just kind of ruined the prop for me it just looks so weird. It looks like a, a gamer type prop now at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why you would add that. It just kind of doesn't make sense at all. But, of course, that was their decision. And, I mean, sure, you could always unplug it. But, yeah, this prop is honestly really cool. Hail to be now, here sure. we have the six-foot marionette six Now, this marionette is probably witch. my least favorite Once prop of the year. The world on a and string. for me, it's kind of for a good reason. She plays now, this thing to an just doesn't curse. make much sense. Stuck so hanging from her why not just have a puppet instead of a witch? This but, sure, witch is the movement is pretty cool. Loose. Although, a face is a motion sensor and, and she springs um, to life. Otherwise, this thing Begging is okay. And I'm sure this is another budget on as her well fixed frame. frame. So I'm not going to complain too much. Face and eyes but all with I'm saying LED is definitely light. my least favorite. Now, last but not least, we have Captain Cuts. And in the background, we can see uh, the skeleton guy who is also another animatronic. But, like, I'm kind of too lazy to go over him now. Because I've been editing for, like, an hour and a half now. But, yeah. He is pretty cool in the background. You can see he has some nice movement. But, focusing on Captain Cuts now. He has some... I think he has the most movement, like, out of all these props in the entire lineup. Now, he features the servo head movement, the mouth movement, the eyes movement, the blinking movement. And the sword and uh, waist turning movement. This guy has a whole bunch of movements, and I don't remember him being pricey, so honestly, I think that's a steal. Yeah, he's around $250, so definitely seems for a steal. Um, although he's kind of a pirate, which doesn't really go with Halloween much, he's honestly really cool. His movements are like almost pro level at this point. Home Depot is like evolving at this point. But yeah, that is pretty much it for today, guys. And yeah, if you want more content like this, definitely let me know in the comments, leave a like on this video, and why not subscribe? It's free, so it wouldn't harm you in any way. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to be trying to go over Halloween costumes uh, lineup soon, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.